I do two exercises when I talk to people. The first thing I ask them is that if they have a if they had a billion dollars in the bank, what would they do? You know, what how would they spend their time? A lot of people have said, so somebody said, of course, this is pre-lockdown. I would travel. I said, okay, where will you go? I'll go to Europe. How long will you go for? I'll go for one month. When you actually do the numbers and you find out what it costs to go to Europe for a month, you find out that the cost of your dreams are often far lower than the imaginary figure you might have in your head. The second activity that's worth doing is to put actual numbers down and calculate from today till the day you die. How much money do you need? Right. From that amount, subtract what you already have. Then think of how many working years you have left and divide that. Most people who go through this exercise find that they're working far more than they need to work. I've had so many people who are, think, who are saying, listen, I'm killing myself 13 hours a day, six days a week. Whereas if I actually look at the amount of money I need till I die, I can work three months a year and I'm fine. So that might be an activity worth doing because, you know, as they say, we we waste all our time trying to get money. We lose all our, we waste all our health trying to get money. And then we waste all our money trying to get our health back. So I don't believe in this thing of I'm going to get to a certain point and then I'm going to enjoy. It's important to build in those things along the way. As they say, what are man's basic needs, right? You'll hear this in the, in the, from the early days, the roti, kapada or makan. Hmm. For me, the most important thing is roti. But for me, ROTI stands for Return on Time Invested. Wow, wow, wow. So Bada always bada. ask, Mere ko ROTI mil rahi hai ki nahi? If you're not getting okay. it, because time is the only resource you will never get back. Fully only agree. Resource. 